In this noisy and stressful world we live today, we all are looking for some kind of magic door to bring us to another world where there is no worries, where there is no problems, and why not this door to be the door of this gallery and you come and visit us and enjoy the works of 23 local Virginia artists. Here are the works of Concons, Constantina and Tignat Konstantinov, other way known as the Concons. Many years ago, in 1990s, my wife was in a beautiful vacation in Italy, in Sardinia, and she starts snapshotting some very interesting images created by the nature, the water, the weather, all these beautiful walls, maybe thousands of years old, gave her inspiration for something very strange and very abstract. Still unclear at that time what exactly this could be. So she came back home with hundreds of beautiful snapshots. At that time, of course, we enjoyed seeing them both in our studio, but we had no idea what exactly could come out of this. So many years now, I opened these files titled Sardinia, and I realized that what I'm seeing pretty much resemble landscape. Now, it was not coincident that we always ask our viewers, please bring with you your best imagination. Looking at these images, you will discover some things for yourself. You will find your own way to interpret these pieces of art. If we can describe the character of our show with just a few key words, one of them for sure, it will be collaboration. Collaboration. Here we have mother and daughter duo collaborating on their art, painting together, working together. And it's incredible that, that the little one, four years old, Ali, she is actually uh, directing the whole process. Now, this is the duel between Christy and Telly Willeker. Another aspect of our collective effort to present to you what exactly landscape is, is the unlimited variety of approaches to the landscape from all different artists. Each piece of work here is unique, presenting the personality of the artist, the story that the artist wants to share with you. I'm seeing a lot of educational point in this gallery in this moment because it's very suitable for summer camps, for uh, college summer art programs, we are hoping that maybe somebody from VCU Arts will be interested to come and see our show. But one more time, please don't forget to bring with you your best imagination. What keeps us together, such a random group of people with different art experiences, with different ideas about art, different styles. What keeps us together is our passion to art and our sincere admiration of nature, of the natural environment. In Linda's work, Linda Shields, in her work, you feel the spirit of nature. You feel the passion, you feel the all together, everything with her is all together about art and nature. Another key word I want to share with you is inclusiveness. Inclusiveness. There is no limits of age. We are not all dinosaurs who exhibit their work here. 
We have young people with us. We have Tate, we have Rayana as well as, it's amazing, you know? We are so different age, we are so different generations, but we can find the link. We have the strong bond keeping us together. Passion to arts, admiration of nature. I fell in love with landscape photography a long time ago. Ansel Adams, one of my big heroes. Uh, I started learning black and white photography a long, long time ago uh, and was never quite able to uh, uh, even approach the, the technique of, of Ansel Adams and burning and dodging and all of that kind of stuff. But I'm, I'm finding that nowadays with digital photography and some of the wonderful uh, software, I can come a lot closer to doing something that I think uh, he, he might have been proud of. Uh, this photo is from my backyard. Uh, my dock extends out across the, the river there. That's the Karatoman River uh, in the northern neck uh, on a, a misty day. Uh, and it just uh, gave me a, a nice feeling of peace. And, and you can imagine being on the river there in the forest. Uh, uh, we're out in the country, lots of wildlife around, all the birds and everything. And it's just a, a real peaceful place. And so my hope is that the picture can help transport others into that same feeling, that same sense of, of peace and well-being. So I use this software, uh, Adobe Lightroom, gives you the ability to manipulate a digital image in so many wonderful ways. So for instance, the original of that photograph looked like that, but going in with Lightroom, all the different adjustments, uh, what I came up with was this one that I hope comes closer to conveying that, that feeling that I was speaking of. That, uh, this comes closer to being a landscape escape. This piece is a collage um, that I've done recently. A lot of my collages right now are um, having landscape themes in them. All of the collages are made from found images and they're analog collages so that they're not at all uh, reproduced images, they're not digital images. Everything is an image as I found it, mostly in magazines, lots of fashion magazines, architectural magazines, um, travel magazines. And I cut away most of the context of these images so that when I use them, I'm expecting them to be able to convey what I want them to convey, that they no longer convey what the original intention of those images were. Now this piece is called the bridge. It again uses a lot of landscape imagery, but again they're broken. There's layers and there's juxtapositions between the actual physical bridge and then the sense of the nature and the line work that comes across. And then all of a sudden you get into another kind of image, another texture that's more like a fabric. Um, again, you have this kind of um, landscape um, tradition, but it's skewed. I've been doing watercolors as a medium most of my life. Uh, and when I say I like watercolors because they seem so spontaneous, it turns out for them to look spontaneous and fresh, you have to plan a lot. So it's a contradiction there where you have to do some planning and work ahead of time so they come out uh, looking right. Uh, so watercolors, we often, like this, we start with our lighter colors and put in a wash, for example, in the sky, and then maybe another wash down with the, the land. Uh, and those are the lighter colors, and, and a wash, often means that we wet the paper first and then we start putting colors in and try to get the colors to spread a little bit to give some movement to it. A lot of my paintings I enjoy having human figures interacting with the 
environment there. What it, it, I felt like there was that I had at least two individuals that were just amazed at the beauty that surrounded the, the water coming in and the sky and the colors. Um, this interaction between humans and the environment, that's the most appealing to me when I create a painting. My sister in St. Louis has been an artist for 40 years. The work that you see here shows a collaboration. I developed into a photographer given the fact that I was driving the Northern Neck as a realtor for many years. I was drawn to misty, graphic locations. My sister did paintings, oil paintings, from photographs that I sent to her. So we have had a long collaboration. I find where I live, which I consider to be nowhere, which is on the Northern Neck, to be very stimulating in a quiet, misty, mysterious way. It's very rich. This is one further example of my collaboration with my sister. This is looking through a crab house within walking distance of where I live. It's a beautiful, low-key dawn, full of fog, full of promise. So I am primarily a landscape painter. I grew up in Richmond. Um, I ended up living in the Virgin Islands. I moved there in 2008 and planned to stay for five months and ended up staying nine years. And when I came back to uh, Virginia after the hurricane hit down there, I brought my Caribbean color with me. So I love nature, I love being outside. I start on location, painting in plein air with every, whenever possible. And this painting is of Belle Isle State Park. Um, I am outside whenever I can be. I do a lot of kayaking and hiking, and the idea of my work is to make you feel a place the way that I feel it.